Welcome to Great Old One Gaming, and also welcome to the first of hopefully many episodes. In this episode, I'm going to be opening up this bundle of Innistrad Crimson Val. Uh, I'm actually pretty new to magic, so hopefully this will be a journey that you guys will stay with me on. And uh, in this particular set of videos I'm going to be doing is uh, cracking packs, as they say. So I'm going to be opening this up and we'll be discussing what we find inside. All right, so a little caveat. Uh, due to some technical difficulties, I actually, this is my second time filming this, and I <laughs> unfortunately already opened the box and cracked one pack. So I'm going to let you know that ahead of time, uh, but I have fixed the technical uh, issues and we'll be going on from there, okay? But we're going to open this up and uh, as we're going to find out, the inside of the box shows some pretty cool art from the uh, the Crimson Vow wedding, which is pretty neat. And you also get this pretty cool, the binding vows of Olivia Voldaren and Edgar Markov uh, wedding invitation. It's a little cheeky. You got RSVP, whether you like chicken, chicken, cow, fish, or human, and what blood type, which is pretty cool. So checking this out and uh, we're gonna put this off to the side. Now, this also comes with uh, this little cover box, which I guess is, I get standard, I guess, for eh, some storage. Probably good for lands. Before I open this up, uh, check out the artwork. Pretty cool. Shows on both sides. I like collecting these, the, uh, the bundles themselves, because they make pretty cool little uh, collector boxes. All right. So as I said before, I had already opened up one pack. Uh, let's check out Sid Sidgara's Summons. Now this is a four uh, mana cost two uh, planes. It's a rare enchantment. Creatures you control with plus one plus one counters on them have base power and toughness of four slash four and have flying and are angels in addition to other types. That's actually pretty cool. And it's a neat foil. And then also comes with all these different foil type manas. I believe there's 20 of them of uh, various various types. Put that off to the side. Now, as I said, I already cracked one pack. So we're gonna, I haven't actually looked at them. So let's check this out. We have some cool artwork, which I really like. This is five out of 81, cool. It's the Angelic Quartermaster. Neat. All right, we got a swamp here. I actually really, really like the mana that you find in these particular boxes, at least for um, the Crimson Vow and Innistrad in general, as well as the Midnight Hunt, I believe has the same ones. I may be wrong, but who knows. Okay, so here we got, we got Voldarian Epicure common blood fountain uh Folkrath, uh, celebrants it's cool gluttonous guest pretty neat bride's uh, gown all right it's an artifact wedding security belligerent guest okay i've i've run into a few of those during some weddings so yeah that makes sense Wedding security. Hey, that's pretty cool. Investigator's Journal. Now, this is our first rare of this uh, certain pack. Investigator's Journal enters the battlefield with a number of suspect counters on it equal to the greatest number of creatures a player controls. Remove a suspect counter from Investigator's Journal. Draw a card. Cool. We have a Graph Reaver. It's a creature zombie warrior. Exploit when this creature enters the battlefield. You may sacrifice a creature, and when Graph Reaver exploits a creature, destroy target planeswalker. The beginning of your upkeep, Graph Reaver deals one damage to you. Okay, well, at least so you can take out a planeswalker with this. That's pretty neat. And then here you have a, a basic card. All right, let's move on. Oh, 
check this out. It also comes with this oversized uh, life counter. That's pretty cool. And this even has, where is it? I just saw it. Oh, there it is, the bat. That's pretty dope, I like it. Okay, moving on. I actually get to see the first one is like me. All right, move this off to the side. Hey, we got the man himself, Agar Markov. There you go. Sweet, the charmed one. All right, so in this we got basic lands, persistent specimen. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to keep that on camera there. Uh, Mind leech goal. It's always good to have. Doom dissenter. Digraph scavenger. Witness the future. Thirst for discovery. Weaver of blossoms. Neat. Voldarian Epicure. I think we got that from the last pack. Hollowhenge Overlord. Gildif Visionary Visionary Stitcher. Sweet. I don't know if he's a uh, if a, if he's a commander or not, but I'll check that out. Also, if you're wondering about the prices of each one of these, uh, in post editing, I'll see about try and get the prices for each one and see if I can actually put them on the screen. We'll see about that. And then what's this one? Uh, a braid. Choose one. A braid deals three damage to a target creature. Or destroy target artifact. Cool. And then we got a, a spirit token. Neat. Okay, let's go on to the next. I also try to do some product reviews of like a. a towers and things like that for holding your your decks and and whatnot and we'll see we'll see how as we go so here we go we got the Voldaren estate number 69 cool mountains the nebulgas begular i believe i actually already have a couple of these supernatural rescue cool griff rider eggers awakening Sanguine Statuette, Wolfkin Outcast, always love werewolves, The Ragged Recluse, Falkreath uh, Celebrants, I believe we have another one of those already, Blood Craze Socialite, Shattered Sactum, okay so I believe this is a dual land, yep dual lands, uh, rare, uh, it's a black and white, and uh, enters the battlefield tapped unless you control two or more other lands. Tap and you can add either a plains or a swamp. And then we have a blood sworn squire foil. Cool. And then you have a blood token. Always handy. All right. Now we're going on to the next one here. This one we have. Check this out. Falkrath Celebrants. Okay, so it's the same, but it's just an art card of it. Cool. We've got the nice forest. Very creepy. We've got a wretched throng. A shield basher. That's cool. Alchemist Retrieval. Cruel Witness. Cartography Survey. Neat. Ancient Lumber Knot. Okay, now this looks pretty sweet. Each creature you control with toughness greater than its power assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. Oh, cool. So it's a quick, uh, it's a cool little trade off there. You got a blood, another Blood Scorn Squire. Weary Prisoner, which I believe is a flip. There you go. For a Wrathful Drillbreaker. We have an unholy efficient, an alchemist gambit, an adamant will. Okay, nothing too uh, too out of the ordinary there. I think one of my favorite parts of the hobby so far is uh, checking out these new art cards. Uh, back when I first got into Magic, back in I believe 1998. Um, 
it was it was a lot different and i took a very very long hiatus and only recently got back into it so it's kind of cool seeing all these um new cards and stuff so we got here we got the swamp vampire slayer very cool piercing light imprisonment and the holy inficient that waltzer purifier cool Parasitic Grasp, Dracos Infantry, Blood Tithe Harvester. It's good. I actually wanted another one of these. Ooh, here we go. We got a Sundown Pass. So this is a red white. And a Ch uh, Angelic Quartermaster. I believe we got the art card from one of the other previous packs. Very neat. Got two more. Let's see if we get some big winners in here. Who knows? It's always a gamble with these. That's pretty sweet. I like it. It's a Voldaring Epicure. We got Parish Blade. Adamant Will. Militia Rallier. A Rural Recruit. Runebound Wolf. A pack sung pup. I've heard these are pretty pretty good. Uh Bioloom Egg. Sweet. An innocent traveler. Old Rustin. He's a legendary creature. Human peasant. Uh, when Old Rustin enters the battlefield at the beginning of your upkeep, mill a card. If a land card is milled this way, create a treasure token. If a creature card is milled this way, create a 1-1 one, one green insect creature token. If a non-creature, non-land card is milled this way, create a blood token. Neat. We have Dorothea, Vengeful Victim, Legendary Creature, Spirit, Flying, and uh, Vengeful Victim attacks or blocks, sacrifice at the end of combat. You can also disturb it. Uh, and which means you can cast it from the graveyard once it's transformed. And it's uh, Dorothea's Retribution. It's an enchantment on the creature. Sweet. It's pretty cool. We have Hero's Downfall. You can destroy a target creature or a planeswalker. And then we have Witch Stalker. Now this is pretty sweet looking. Creature, wolf, hexproof. Cool. Whenever an opponent casts blue or black spells during your turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on Witch Stalker. Neat. Definitely going to go on my green deck. And, oh, we got two more. I thought we had one. Cool. So we got the angel artwork. And it is Sandra Summons, number 17. Very cool. Got the Swamp, Siphon Existence, Stitched Assistant, very cool, Blood Tithe Harvester, a Blood Hypnist, a Kindly Ancestor, Desperate Farmer, Blood Petal Celebrant, nice. A belligerent guest, yet another. Ooh, Thalia, Guardian of Thalabin. Legendary creature, human soldier, first strike, non-creature spells, cost one more to cast. Pretty neat. And Vampire's Kiss. And a human. Always got to have that lowly human. All right. Last and final one. Come on, big money. Let's do this. Oh my kidding. I'm not a. Uh, I got some pretty good pulls from the last couple ones, but I'm not expecting anything big. Nice art card. I'm guessing this is a forest. Yep. Pig hands. Remember, that's literally the last card in the series. It's pretty sweet. Got another forest. Got another belligerent guest. Blood petal celebrant. I'm seeing a lot of extras in this. Courier bat. Nice. Wedding Invitation, 
Into the Night. Lantern of the Lost. I've heard this is supposed to be a pretty good one. When Lantern of the Lost enters the battlefield, exile target card from a graveyard. Pay one and tap, exile Lantern of the Lost, exile all cards from all graveyards, then draw a card. Lunar Reflection, Cleave. It costs three mana and a blue. You may cast a spell for its cleave cost. If you do, remove the words in the square brackets. Return target werewolf or wolf creature to its owner's hands. Draw a card. Child of the Pack. I actually have another one of these. So this is a creature human werewolf, which obviously turns into a savage pack mate. That's pretty sweet. A gluttonous guest. Curse of Hospitality. Enchant player. Creatures attacking enchanted player have trample. Whenever a creature deals a combat damage to enchanted player, that player exiles the top card of their library. Until the end of that turn, the creature's controller may play that card and they may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast that spell. That's sweet. Crushing Canopy. Choose one. You can destroy a target creature with flying or destroy a target enchantment. And it's only a two cost and a green. Oh, that's pretty sweet. And Lightning Bolt. Sweet. Lightning Bolt. Deals three damage to the target creature or player. Simple. I like it. So yeah, that was this bundle. And of course, he comes with the popular magic formats. You got standard, booster draft, commander. And then it goes through and tells you your turn. And then uh, just for uh, shiggles, we'll go through just so you see everything in there. It just gives you basic manas. I believe you get two, two of each. Yeah. Maybe more. Yeah, you get a little more. Yeah, so there you go. And again, here's the box art for the Crimson... Crimson Val Bundle. I really want to thank you guys for, for joining me on this unpacking. Uh, like I said, this is my first episode, uh, the first video of this channel. And uh, if you like what you see, uh, please feel free to uh, subscribe and give it a like. Maybe comment. Tell me if there's any cards that uh, are pretty cool or, or, or good that you saw. Uh, I'd love to hear. Like I said, I'm, I'm pretty new to this, so any... Any feedback is great. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. Have a good night.